Welcome to the fifth week where we will be talking about cultural industries or on another term, uh, creative industries. the term creative industries refers to a range of economic activities that are uh, concerned with the generation and commercialization of creativity, ideas, knowledge, and information. In this lecture, we are going to um, understand more about what does cultural industry means, the emerging uh, of the concept, the link between cultural heritage and creativity, the importance of cultural and the creative sectors, economic and social impact of cultural and the creative sectors, and what are the factors for preserving cultural heritage through uh, creative industries. Uh, we will start with some definitions. Uh, the creative industry sector is also referred to as uh, the creative and cultural industry or the creative and digital industries or the creative industry within the creative economy. And some countries, especially the Latin America, for, for example, they have been called the, uh, this uh, type of industry or economy, orange economy. Actually, as many experts and organizations stated, uh, the creative economy has no single definition, obviously. It is an evolving concept which builds uh, on the uh, uh, interoperability between human creativity and ideas and intercultural uh, property, knowledge and technology. Essentially, it is the knowledge-based economic activities upon with the creative industries. So some definitions, for example, uh, a definition from UNESCO uh, is the, 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 the UNESCO um, defined cultural industry as uh, are those that combine the creation, production, and commercialization of creative content that are intangible and of a cultural nature. These contents are usually protected by copyrights and can take uh, the form of a good or a service. Beside all artistic and cultural production, they include architecture and advertising also. UNESCO actually works through its global alliance for cultural diversity and the creative uh, cities network to strengthen uh, cultural industries internationally by encouraging knowledge sharing, capacity building, good practice and monitoring uh, between its members. The global alliance promotes cultural diversity by strengthening the capacity of cultural industry to produce and distribute uh, goods and services and and help them gain access to national and international markets. Um, another definition is by United Nations Conference on Trade Development. Um, they define cultural industry are at the core of the creative economy and are defined as cycles of uh, production of goods and services that use creativity and intellectual capital as their main input. They are classified by their um, role as uh, heritage, art, media, and functional creations. Also, uh, the, this organization, the United Nations Conference on Trade Devel Development, has been proactive in promoting international action uh, in the area of the creative industry, and hence the creative economy, emphasizing their development dimension. So what are culture and the create, uh, creative sectors and how they are measured? John Hawkins developed the concept of creative economy in 2001 to describe economic system where value is based on uh, novel imaginative qualities rather than uh, the traditional resources of land, labor, and capital. Compare, compared to creative industry, which are limited to a specific sector, the term is used to describe creativity throughout a whole economy. Some observers take the view that uh, creativity is the defining characteristics of uh, developed 21st century economists 
just as manufacturing uh, typified or characterized the 19th and the um, early 20th centuries. Culture and the creative uh, sector uh, typically include heritage, archives and libraries, books and press, visual performing art, audiovisual and multimedia, architecture, design, cultural education and art and craft. Uh, also, uh, organizational models vary from publicly funded like museums, heritage sites to large uh, private firms such as, for example, Netflix or Spotify, to micro firms and freelancers such as designers, uh, artists, and the musicians. Uh, these sectors in part reflect the differences in target, uh, like value added generated by uh, the sector, direct job created by the sector, job classed by uh, occupation of workers, international trade in the culture and the creative products. This means that uh, care is needed in international uh, comparison, not least because the ability of countries to align to any particular definition will also differ depending on the sector present in the country and the availability of um, the availability of this data of the sectors. Some countries, for example, will include gastronomy, indigenous heritage, fashion, software, and games industry, or virtual artificial reality in their national uh, cultural uh, and creative sectors definition. Why challenges around measuring jobs uh, and income uh, from informal secondary and non-standard forms uh, employment affect most countries. All of these uh, concept and approaches share the common theme of creativity. Uh, human creativity is the source of cultural and creative industries, goods and services. They are also share the common link of culture, trade and inter, uh, actual property rights, particular copyright, the differences in the definitions adopted on a national level depend largely on the needs and the scoop defined within uh, local policy evaluations and the development um, and different development initiatives. Now let's discuss the correlation between creative industries and cultural heritage, which shaped an essential element in emerging this concept at the first place. Cultural heritage has become increasingly significant over the past decades as we talked in the last weeks in the uh, public policy uh, disclosure at the local level. The strongholds for such a change in, in, in perception can be found in international umbrella conventions, uh, char uh, charters and the recommendations from organizations such as the Council of Europe, UNESCO, ICOMOS, ICROM, and other some uh, of the oldest international legal document and development agendas treat cultural heritage from a perspective of sustainability and preservation of the uh, critical level of natural, cultural, and biodiversity. Advocating for such principle was first initiated in 1980 when the World Conservation Strategy um, was published in addition to the subsequent adoption uh, of the uh, UNESCO report Our Common Future in 1987. Although the role of cultural heritage uh, in these documents was far from being worded uh, sufficiently clearly, two main perspectives of the relation between cultural heritage and sustainability appeared on the horizon. First one was that an affirmation of the principle of sustainability of cultural heritage production, conservation and use. The other one is um, the integration of cultural heritage as a component of sustainable use. Uh, the clearest explanation of where cultural heritage sits within the industry are to be found in um, the production cycle of value chain models. The models cover the process of creation, production, manufacturing, or reproduction, and distribution of cultural creative uh, content or um, commodities. Uh, cultural heritage also uh, um, uh, mainly uh, preserve, present, and provide information about uh, uh, cu cultural objects, like uh, typically sit uh, at the start and at the end 
phases of the creative cycle, for example, um, inspiration by cultural heritage, like museum objects, traditional arts and handicraft are placed in the creation stage of new cultural goods or museum and galleries show up in the distribution um, a stage of uh, visual arts or contemporary arts, for example, uh, as we can see in many uh, exhibitions and uh, galleries. In joint projects with creative businesses, uh, the contribution of cultural heritage organizations can span the whole cycle, including uh, uh, also maintains and uh, the preservation. Um, also worth mentioning that cultural heritage institutions offer exhibition and education programs for local people and tourists provide online cultural services as well as uh, make um, uh, available content for other cultural and creative products. Though the primary goal of heritage site, museum and the collection is not industry, but to promote cultural learning and knowledge, enjoyment and uh, creative inspiration. Another side of um, the correlation between uh, cultural heritage uh, and the creative industry is development of entrepreneurship. Uh, cultural heritage uh, buildings are natural environment uh, for small and medium sized companies and entrepreneurs in the field of cultural industries and knowledge economy, usually owning uh, to uh, lower cost of lease and um, an authentic atmosphere in cultural heritage building innovative companies largely uh, prefer uh, such spaces. They are mainly focused on the creation of spaces uh, which become um, creative hotspots within the community and places where local creative entrepreneurs network uh, gathered. One of the ways to create such spaces is transforming cultural heritage building in business infrastructure for development of art, cultural activity, creative industries, and knowledge-based industries. This can be made uh, possible in several different ways by, for example, creating art incubators, creative clusters, co-working space for creators, uh, creative people and artists, and creative entrepreneurs. Uh, due to the global development of tourism and the side effect of mass cultural tourism, uh, opinions have emerged that uh, the cultural heritage development concept should be based on the result of analysis and the effect on the uh, environment strategy, uh, strategic planning and the corresponding strategies of heritage management. The mutually beneficial relationship between tourism and culture has been one of the major sources of tourism growth in recent decades, as uh, underlined by the OECD uh, organization a report in 2009. This relationship is changing with the previous emphasis on the tangible heritage being supplemented by new forms of tourism based on intangible heritage and contemporary uh, creativity. As destinations seek competitive advantage through creativity and consumers are looking for engaging tourism experience, creative economy approaches offer the potential to add value through developing engaging creative content and experiences supporting uh, innovation and helping to make places more distinctive and attractive. The OESD uh, organization recently emphasized the need to link culture and the creative industries to tourism. And the link with the creative industry offers uh, uh, interesting opportunities, uh, for example, to develop, diversify uh, and uh, tourism products and experience. Uh, revitalize ex existing tourism uh, products, use creative uh, technology to develop and enhance the tourism experience, uh, add atmosphere and buzz uh, to the places, overcome the limitation of traditional cultural tourism models. As the creative economy has evolved and gained importance over the past two decades, the boundaries between the creative and sectors have softened and the creative knowledge and the skills are being deployed in the wider economy. Such changes are also reflected in the developing relation between tourism and the creative industries. 
Early creative tourism concepts were based on learning experiences related to the traditional areas of culture and creativity. More recent models have been based on the integration and the creative industries as a whole, engaging consumers, but also um, producers, policymakers, and knowledge institutions. So what are uh, the key successful uh, factors for preserving cultural heritage through creative industry? There are three main parties involved and two core strategies in preserving cultural heritage through creative cultural industries. The three main parties should, uh, uh, um, should be involved in uh, our government, educational institution, and society, civil society. Furthermore, the two core strategies are uh, training the human resources and also uh, a proper marketing strategy. Let's see a bit in detail some of these uh, factors. The training and education of art. Training and education of art to the children in particular foster a sense of belonging and love for their own culture. Furthermore, it is very helpful in cultural uh, preservation because foster the next generation who are and uh, knowledgeable about local culture. Second one, uh, or, or second sector, is cooperation with government for international recognition and promotion to distribute the local pro uh, product and introduce local culture to around uh, the world. Another factor would be cooperation with the educational institution. Educational activities include the training, local art and cultural research, seminars, workshops, cooperation with several education institutions in order to expand the market and organize some event, provide new trainers and the new talents. Conservation of cultural heritage is important for the growing need of integration and expertise into higher education relating um, the university uh, curriculum with cultural heritage in an interdisciplinary way is essential to further uh, promotion or promoting in the importance or uh, the importance of uh, heritage for uh, a sustainable future. Another factor would be broadening uh, marketing strategy, not only market the product to the local community, but also market the to foreigner country and cooperation with many parties will give advantages in broadening uh, these marketing strategies. Uh, the last uh, factor or, or we will be talking about today is the involvement of local community. We, we also mentioned this uh, uh, almost every uh, lecture about the importance of lo uh, in the involvement of local community in preserving cultural heritage is becoming a very important factor. It give opportunity to surrounding community to make the souvenirs, for example, inspired by heritage, provide a platform uh, for them to sell this product. This way is the, also one of the corporate social responsibilities and cultural engagement contribution to the quality of community life by reflecting and reinforcing social diversity and also decent jobs. Thus, we can see like preserving cultural heritage can be done in many ways. Cultural uh, creative industry is one effective way and has many advantages, not only the business industry itself, but also Several other parties should be involved in preserving cultural heritage through cultural creative industry. So in a brief, what is the economic and social importance of culture and the creative sectors? Culture and the creative sectors are a significant source of jobs and income and also generate important spillovers to the uh, wider economy. They are... Uh, drivers of innovation, a source of creative skills with a strong backward and forward linkage uh, in the economy and act as a magnet that helps drive uh, growth in other sectors such as tourism, as we uh, uh, discussed earlier. Beyond their economic uh, impact, they also have significant social impact from supporting health and well-being, to promoting social uh, inclusion and local social capital, However, the absence of internationally comparable statistics that uh, reveal their uh, full economic and social impact also uh, uh, means that the sector remains largely undervalued in the policy debate. Though 
there is an opportunity for culture to play a greater role in driving economic, social, uh, and indeed environmental outcome. Now, as you will kindly go through and read in the, uh, in the references provided uh, in addition to the uh, supporting materials. Uh, uh, as we are wrapping up today's lecture, it is convenient to say that the symbolic value of cultural heritage uh, cons uh, consists of uh, important factor for entrepreneurship development, particularly when heritage element and cultural code, it preserves become an inspiration for development of local creative industries. In the event, uh, these types of entrepreneurships are grounded on uh, principles that allow sustainability of heritage monuments, then um, additionally funds for conservation and protection of cultural heritage can be ensured through them. In addition to that, strengthening the identity uh, of the community uh, at local, regional and national level. Uh, thank you so much. See you next week in our last lecture for this course, Cultural Heritage of uh, Minorities in the Middle East.